In order to deal with the COVID-19 pandemic, various financial support schemes were established. However, despite all of the available funding, two major issues have arisen. The first major issue is access to this funding. A study done by the National Small Business Chamber showed that although many businesses applied for relief funding, only a small fraction of those were successful. The reasons? A long, complicated process and unnecessary qualifying criteria. Speaking of unnecessary qualifying criteria, in the tourism industry, firms first need to meet strict, broad-based BEE requirements before gaining any access to funding. The second major issue is whether whatever funding there is, is enough. The short answer is no. A study done by Status A showed that a third of businesses are planning layoffs in the short term. Also, only a small percentage of businesses in the tourism industry found any value from the funding that they received. The Sukuma Relief Programme a private initiative established to provide financial support received over 1 billion rand in donations. However, the value of applications received for loans and relief funding far exceeded the amount of available donated capital. It is clear that businesses in our country are operating under enormous pressure currently. Therefore, the road to relief funding should be smooth, simple and efficient. Also, the government needs to implement much needed structural reforms in order to create an environment in which our businesses can prosper. All of the information that I just discussed is captured in our monthly report called the Macro Review. If you would like to have access to the Macro Review or if you would like to contact us at the Centre for Risk Analysis, please follow the links below in the description.